Okay, good morning. Um, I think I'm going to go back into Wigan and see if that stall's open. Um, I want to get to for my birthday the other day. Hopefully it is. Um, but one of the people who works in the market was telling me the guy also owns a Chinese restaurant. And if the preparing food were there, he's going to be there. So it's it a miss if it'll be open, but... I think we'll go and have a look and to see if it's open and just pick something for my birthday. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I'm feeling okay today. Um, I don't know. I've been awake since about half nine. Um, I've just been watching a bit of telly. Um, but other than that, I don't know, I just, I think I'm just getting itchy feet and I just want to be somewhere different right now. Um, I want something to be different. And it just seems to be like I'm getting in the same routine again, like getting up, doing videos, you know, and it's getting so repetitive and you know I just want something different because at the, point, and at the moment I don't even feel like I could go to Manchester on my own at one point I would say right I'm getting on the train I'm going to Manchester but I don't know lately I just can't even do that on my own um last place Outside of Wigan, I went on my own was Warrington. Um, I don't know. Lately, I just don't feel like I can do anything on my own. I, I need somebody with me going away from Wigan. Um, at one point, I don't know, I just feel really on edge. Um... And I, I wish I didn't feel this way because I do enjoy going to Manchester on my own and but I, I don't know, football season's not on so it could be quiet but I don't know, I think I just enjoy, I've been spoiled because I enjoy going to Manchester at midnight now and that's all. I wish I could get over this, but I, and it doesn't help because you've got I've got my mum and dad saying, but you could do it before you got diagnosed with autism, and that uh, yeah, all right, I could, and it's not the fact that I'm autistic about stopping me. I just don't feel at the moment like I can do anything on my own and I feel like I need somebody with me and I, I think in, maybe if I did a diary or kept a journal of things that might make me feel better because I've got it in writing and then I can take it to the psychiatrist and say look there you go you know because sometimes I don't think I'll explain myself properly when I've seen the counsellor or when I see the psychiatrist when I see the psychiatrist. I don't even know if I'm explaining myself properly on these videos, you know. People might say, Oh, but you're fine, you're okay, you're you're smiling, you're happy, you're laughing, you're giggling. Yeah, I am, but what's going on in my head is It's just stopping me doing things I enjoy doing. I mean, my uncle came down the other day and I was going to go to Wigan anyway. And like I said, Wigan, I'm fine because I know that I can just get a buzz on in my hate using public transport and or 
as much as I much as I get earache for it, I can ring my dad up and my dad's come pick me up from Wigan, you know. Uh, Manchester, it's no different kettle fish because I'd have to get from wherever I am in Manchester to the train station or I'd have to get one to Lee and then either get my dad pick me up from Lee which would cause earache. Uh, Midnight reminds me to um, a Star Trek thing today and you know I would love to go to that but I just I don't want to get to the point where I'm locking myself away in my room which it's kind of going that way I want to go out and do it it's like I asked my mum and dad the other day could we go to Pearbold and all I got was Oh, but there's nothing there, you know. There's a fairy glen in Parbold, but you went when you were a kid, you know. This, and they don't seem to understand that I need to get out. And my, my mom and dad, they don't like going places. They just want to sit in my house all the time. And that. And I, I want to go out and I want to see things. I want to go places, but you know, I, I just don't. Ali Midnight, they can't keep an eye on them. I mean, Midnight lives in Pontefract, Ali's in Liverpool. Ali works a lot in Midnight. Even though she says I'm, she's on the other side of Pennines, it's not like either of us can jump on a bus or train and, and do that. Because money, the root of all evil. Um, so, I don't know. I have convinced my mum to come to, for us to go to Warrington in a few weeks on my birthday. So, um, we've got to do some of their shopping and I don't know. Um I think Midnight's just text me now. <laughs> Need you accept a kind of shot and put the like button in my face like a boss and I fives all around. I mean I'm just not I just feel like I'm stagnating and I mean like Soon it'll be Wigan Pride and midnight will be over and she might be over for GPW, we've still not decided but it looks like we're back to doing Manchester MCM which should be cool. Um, so yeah, um, Manchester MCM won't be too bad again because and I'll be meet at the midnight there and that's so... Hopefully, um, and that's if Midnight doesn't come here for GPW, but we've not talked about that, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so I decided to come to like, an icon to come down with and um, it just came up on my Facebook, but it was on, I completely forgot about it, but <laughs> come on, it's going. Um, I'm going to have a look in to see what it's like, probably even not the bed too long here, but a little bit. Okay, so I've come out of Sunday, it wasn't that big really. I was also not filming there, which is understandable, um, with being a nursery. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't allowed to film in there, but I'm just going to walk around Wigan and then head on. Okay, so today has not been awesome. Um, I think. Because I try, I've gone to try and without my tablet and around six o'clock it just got no I I need to take my tablet. So I've taken my tablet. Um I don't know. Um I think as so I'm not really 
done anything worth filming. Um, so I went to the fun day, and I get why this says like, don't film, you know. Um, I get it, but I just feel a bit like everything's same old, same old. Um, Wigan has nothing to show. Cause like, I've done everything I can in Wigan. Um, tomorrow, I'll see what tomorrow brings and just see if I can go somewhere and just film somewhere different or something different. Um, hopefully, tomorrow. We'll bring something better. Anyway, but for now, I say love you lots, lots of like jelly tots, and keeping rigging weird.